Hello, and welcome back to an episode of RL Craft. This is part 28. I have not recorded in a while. That seems to be becoming a theme. Eh. Well, anyways, last time we fought the Ender Dragon. And we failed to get the Ender Egg. Which kind of made the whole fight pointless. But we got the achievement, so that's what's important. Now, we've been doing a lot of dragon fighting recently. I, I want to do something a little bit more peaceful. I am done with dragon fighting. Okay, now I'm done fighting dragons. For the day. So, <laughs> today I want to do something a little bit more peaceful. I want to do some farm building, because I got a lot of space that I haven't really done anything with, which I guess technically is always true because I have the entire world open to you. Anyway, I got some stone. <laughs> I've been mining for a while. I've got two and a half, no, not two and a half, two and almost a sixth chests, double chests of stone. I want to put that to use. Does cactus have a season? I don't think it does. Yeah, those have seasons. Cacti do not have seasons. Good. Today, I think the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to make a cactus farm, because I haven't made a cactus farm yet. I don't know quite what use cactus has, but I want to make one. And I want to see how they grow, because I'm not actually sure how... If it just works like regular cactus, and I can just do the typical, it grows up, you put a block next to it, it falls over. But I don't actually know how cactus grows in this. But if it grows how I think, then I should be able to just make a typical cactus farm. Actually, I should probably make a few samples so that this goes a little faster. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this for now and come back and check that later. And while I'm waiting for that to grow, I've got another thing that I want to get done. I have yet to build- hold on, I need to turn on my cooling coils, I keep getting hot. I have yet to build anything in this space, and I'm thinking I want to build a uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, it begins with a P. Potato! <laughs> I want to build a potato and a carrot farm here. Because I'm thinking what I can do is I can just, like, kind of cut off this space, make maybe like a high-rise type section. I don't think I'll need too many potatoes and carrots, so it should be plenty of space. But we'll see. I'm gonna start by getting some stone and laying the groundwork. Because clearly everyone knows when you're building a farm, the first thing you need to do is make sure it looks good. Then you can start <laughs> with the whole construction thing. Or sorry, I mean the whole farming thing. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I guess if I do it like this, we could have at this block level, uh, it should probably be a little bit higher though. Maybe what I can do is, where does this come to if I build it all the way across? Okay, aside from the torch in the way, it comes to here. That's actually perfect. Okay. So then I could put a pillar here, put a pillar on the same spot on the other side. That should give me the space I need. Then I dig this out, and how's this gonna look? Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Probably gonna have to move this fence. I guess I can expand it out a little bit, maybe. Maybe that'd help. Let's go and fill in the dirt areas. I guess I'll be extending down my tower just a little bit, which should actually look kind of good. I guess I never actually did fill in the dirt areas beneath my tower. So this is kind of a long time coming for me doing this. Let's go ahead and fill in this back area with stone. I think that would look good. I have some stairs. Okay, put that there, put that there. Finally, put some stairs to go up. And there we go. We have a little sectioned off area. So next, I guess I need to decide where the water is going to go. I think that gives full coverage of this area. I forgot to grab lily pads. I should do that real quick. Beautiful. Now we have our water sources in place. So now I guess I need to decide how much of this is going to be... be, 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 be. How much is going to be potato and how much is going to be carrot. I guess I could split it. Does this go directly down the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it doesn't. Oh. Actually, wait, yeah, it does. It's just an even split. So I guess from this block to that side will be potato, and from this side to that side will be carrot. Alrighty. Oh boy, these things are growing real fast. I keep forgetting I have my green thumb skill. Things just grow around me. And there we go. Potato and carrot farm is now finished. How are the cactus doing? Have they grown? Please, sir, have they grown? Oh, they have. Okay, they do grow straight up. Cool. Yes, they grow exactly straight up, and if I were to set a block there, it breaks. So, we can definitely use the same method for farming cactus as we usually do. Perfect. And to make it even better, we now have even more cactus to use. 
So where should we build this cactus farm? I guess we could just build it up here. Oh, but we got this little piston thing here that's pushing up and down. You have to build a little bit of a platform, but it should be fine. So how much space are we going to need? I have 17 cacti. probably want to build 16 things. Well, actually, I guess just how many other things I can build. So let's see. I have that. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five. And I could put that there. How many could I do if I have it that big? Only nine. Huh. Then again, how useful is cactus? Hold on. If I go to here, uh, you can make cactus juice, cactus fruit, healing cell. That's kind of useful. Uh, then you can make cactus green. You can make plant fiber. I'll come back to that. Cactus green can be made into... Okay, can be used to dye stuff. Okay, so it's not particularly useful, but I still want some of it, so maybe only nine is actually probably plenty enough. Ah, oops. Okay, I forgot there was a hole there. <laughs> actually, now that I think about it, I think I have an idea for how I want to build this. So, let's see. I think I might try to build this up as an exterior farm. So, if I were to do... Uh, let's see, so it's got to have a full case around it. So, this is going to be its border. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think my idea would work. Hold on, I want to test a few things. I'm going to put some blocks there just for the future. So, for what I want to test, I'm going to need some chests and I'm going to need a single hopper. So, I think I can build this system only using a single hopper if I do this right. So, if I put a single water in this corner, is that enough to go all the way to the end? It's not. Oh, but it does reach all the way to there. So that could be interesting. And just testing water streams do function properly. Yes, they work fine. Okay. I guess if I just use water all the way along, then I could just put hoppers all the way along the edge there. That'd be a lot of hoppers, though. Ah, uh, it's only six more. It's not too terribly much iron. Die, Frankfurt. So now I throw an item in, and yeah, I don't even know why I'm testing it. It should work. Beautiful. So now, I need, well, I'll leave the water, well, no, I should really get rid of the water, because I'm going to need to place glass in later. My plan is, I'm thinking I'm going to make this kind of like a glass tube in the middle. I should not use my stone, that would be a bad idea. Oh, the blood moon is rising, well, that's bad timing. Uh, hold on, do I have any spaces up here that are not properly lit? I have a lot of spaces that are not properly lit. Uh, spam torches. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. I guess I just gotta hide. Man, and I was just about to go get a bunch of sand, too. That's unfortunate. You blood moon monsters better not crample... Crample? Trample my brand new crops. I guess I'll just sit here and watch the clock. This is real fun. Oh yeah, I guess something I can do while I'm waiting for the night to go away. <laughs> Is I can show off something that I discovered off camera. It's a thing called an, uh, okay, I guess a disenchantment table. So essentially what this does is you'd put, for instance, like an item, like a pickaxe or something in there, put a book in there, and whatever the first enchantment on the list is, it puts it on the book. It deletes the tool, but it puts it on the book. I just thought that was kind of cool. And it doesn't cost levels or anything, so yeah. That thing might be pretty useful in the future, and it wasn't actually all too expensive. It was just an enchantment table, three emeralds, and something else that I'm blanking on. Oh right, yellow dye. Oh, I see it coming. There's the sun. It's almost day. Finally. Alright. Everything good out here? Anything deadly spawn? I keep- Ah! Something did. What are you? Dead. Fermented spider eye. Well, the inside of my house is secured, that's all that matters. <laughs> well, off to the Sandland. Okay, let's get rid of these torches. So, let's see. I think first thing I'm gonna do, put down some glass. Make sure I have a general idea. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is build these pillars a little bit higher. Then I'm gonna put down some glass so that I have a general idea of what this thing's gonna look like. So now let's go ahead and put in all of these things. So it's gonna need to be one block up. Then I'll put a fence post on top of that. I really hope I have enough fence posts. So let's put all these here. There we go. 
I'm really glad I have this lightweight thing that makes this a lot easier. Put sand on top of that. Then should I put in the cactus first or the next... I guess let's put in the next sand post or fence post first. Oops. So I guess these have got to go there, 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 and there, and then in between all of these little gaps I keep falling down. And then the last step, actually I guess the last step will be putting in the water, which is next, but this step, let's go ahead and put in the cactus, and theoretically, once I put in the water, this farm will be functional. Obviously, I still gotta finish the actual construction though. But, now we have a good idea of how big this thing's gonna be. So, how tall does this need to be? I guess I need to make it so that it fills or covers this. So, this is at the same level. This will be where the roof is. Oh, the farm is working. Alrighty. So there we have it, a fully functional cactus farm. Oh, that's actually doing pretty good, considering it's only nine cacti. But now to figure out what I was going to do with all these pillars. I know I have some plan. But even when I was planning it, it was kind of vague, so... Why did I jump down here? Ah! Oh! There's things here! Ah! There's more things! Die! Ah! There's fire! What is happening? This is a terrible hole! Okay, I didn't realize that this hole held the spring of death. I think I'm gonna build this up one block higher than that. And let's build this around. I guess I gotta drop down, which, yeah, I don't really take fall damage. Lightweight is seriously overpowered. I'm really not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of building and hoping that it looks cool. Because these archways don't really connect in any way, do they? Does that look good at all? Uh... It's interesting. <laughs> Maybe it'll look good. I probably will put more things like over here and over here in the future, so... Maybe it'll look better once... Oh, well, maybe not over here. This kind of has to be open. Well, it depends on what I put over here. But, yeah, I think that's probably all I'm going to be doing with this. Now I need to figure out my lights, because down here, these lights are kind of all over the place. Oh, I thought that was a dragon. It's just a dragon fly. Well, there we go. It's not exactly great looking, but it's functional. <laughs> I mean, it's already gotten 49 cactus, and it hasn't been that long. So cool. There we go. I planned on using a lot more stone today than I actually did. We used probably like maybe four, five, six stacks. It's not very much. But our base does definitely look a little bit more filled out. So next time, I think what we're going to do is we're probably going... Oh yeah, sorry. That's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a few more farms. Maybe put some stuff on those end pieces. Maybe build a whole new structure, actually. I might do that too. That'd be a good idea. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.